It happened for the first time this year. All three major pageant titles were won by African American women, setting a new standard for what beauty queens look like. To understand the significance of this event, JHS TV traced the roots of pageants in the African American community. The year was 1968. Founder J. Morris Anderson saw a need to create a pageant dedicated to black women. Tell me, baby, of all your dreams, what most do you hope to be when you become a big girl? Daddy, I would like to be Miss Black America. The Miss Black America pageant was founded by my father uh, 50, over 50 years ago now, back in 1968. It is a movement, it's a community program, it's a platform that allows young women the opportunity to use their voice and their talent and, and present themselves and, and get a jump start. I remember back in 1971 when I was a contestant that I just was so excited about being there. I considered it a major accomplishment. Fast forward to 1977, an 18-year-old from Memphis would go on to win the national Miss Black America title. Claire Ford was the uh, winner of the Miss Black America pageant that year and just a, an amazing representative of everything that uh, the Miss Black America pageant stood for. It was quite a moment. Um, all of my family, about 30 or 40 people, flew out from Memphis to join me in Santa Monica. We were all in Santa Monica uh, watching her on stage uh, winning the pageant. At that moment, when they said, you know, Miss Black America 1977, Claire Ford, Memphis, Tennessee, I said, I did it. The love and support Claire received after her win was unmatched. When I returned home from Pasadena uh, and, and arrived at the Memphis International Airport, you would have thought the Pope was coming or a president her win also came during a time when the city and country were grieving. Memphis had lost Elvis Presley a month earlier. A famous Memphian had passed away, and this kind of lift, helped to lift the spirits of the whole community when she won that national pageant. I remember we looked in the, in the newspaper and it said, Memphis has lost a king but gained a queen. While times have changed and many African American women have won national titles, a local pageant winner says it is still hard to be black in the pageant world. Being the one black girl in Miss Memphis Princess, I was very intimidated. It was very hard to even go out there and act like myself because I was afraid that, you know, just I would be judged based on my skin color. While Claire's win was important in 1977, today her impact has not been forgotten. If I were to um, meet Claire Ford, I would definitely just say thank you for going out there and doing something that's not usual for black girls. Hold your head up, work hard, prepare yourselves mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, in every way possible to meet the challenges of achieving your dreams. Reporting for Red Devil Newsbeat, I'm Kendall Ashore.